What's up everyone, Some guy here with another Line Tour video. Season 26, war number one, first war of the season. We are versing against some. Um, I don't think we faced them before. I believe they placed in Plat 2 last season. Um, but coming up, Path 5 here, we have this Domino on Ebb and Flow Knockdown and Power Drain. I don't think I've ever fought a Domino on this node before, but um, since there is an Apocalypse boss, I will be bringing Guillotine 2099. And she's probably the best uh, um, fight I can uh, ramp her up with. Um, so just going in here, I just have to make sure my parries land. Sometimes with Domino, your parries will fail. Um, I don't know. Domino can be pretty. Uh, it's a. Uh, it can. She can make or break your day, depending on uh, how the AI works. Um, I also have to just make sure I um, knock her down whenever possible to get the shield down. And I have to be careful when she's lucky, she has a chance to evade. Uh, Guillotine 2099 doesn't have any kit to prevent evade. Um, I do take a bit of a um, critical damage, uh, critical failure damage from her, but it wasn't too life threatening. I just had to make sure I keep my, um, or keep her protection down and keep my Furies up or passive Fury up. And yeah, and then just make sure I time my SP3 correctly so I uh, finish with the SP3. All right, moving to the next fight, we have a Nick Fury on Ebb and Flow Knockdown and a Heavy Hitter. Oh, I also forgot to mention they place a, they used a Bulwark this war um, for their global. Um, I haven't fought a Bulwark since last season. I think the last war of the last season. Um, so it's been a while, uh, kind of. <laughs> uh, but I will be using Quake for this Nick Fury. Uh, it's a very simple Nick Fury. You just gotta knock him down while he's stun stunned and concussed to shut down the protection node. And from there on, it's a very simple Quake and Shake fight. Uh, Nick Fear used to be notorious on this node back when Stubborn was uh, was around, um, just because uh, yeah, Stubborn was a uh, Stubborn was not that quake friendly, just because you had to block all the time to get rid of Stubborn. Uh, since Nick Fury did uh, benefit from the Stubborn node, uh, but since Stubborn is gone, this node is not too hard with Quake. Uh, you could just freely Quake him. Um, besides Quake, I believe Colossus would work as well. Um, since it's on Heavy Hitter, you can't punish Nick Fury's Heavy, especially in his second life. But Colossus, as uh, with his SP3, he has a passive unstoppable ability upon getting hit on a block, and you can use that to your advantage. And next up we have a Professor X on Steady Build Up Fury and uh, Power Alternator. Um, I don't believe, I also have a hitter. Uh, Professor X can be a little bit tricky just because you can only parry stun his uh, first medium. Um, so whenever you're fighting against him, you have to be wary of that. I do make a mistake here. I actually make a couple mistakes here, right? I got lucky there that uh, he dex and didn't punish me for it. I was just too late on the uh, punish. Right there, I thought I'd reparry, but I forgot you can't reparry stun his other uh, combos. Um, my plan here is just keep my temperature up so I can't miss. Um, and from there on, I just have to make sure I throw my... Yeah, I got hit there again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, just make sure I dump my uh, specials before the um, power alternator uh, expires. Um, yeah, so right here is about to expire, so I'm, I'm about to dump my SP1, so... Um, he doesn't gain too much power. I'm pretty sure you could play just normally without the power alternator, worrying too much about it, but I was just trying to be safe. Uh, but yeah, not the cleanest fight, but I'll take the solo. And moving to section two, we have this Nova on Evan Flow Intercept and um, Sadist. Um, I've used Quake against him before. Uh, this one's only a rank two, but I think he is uh, running max limber. He does benefit from Bulwark, but I believe Quake bypasses it. Um, I don't think the uh, Aftershock can count towards the uh, Bulwark, um, so it's a pretty safe fight. Uh, you do want to make sure you are boosting just because of uh, Limber and uh, Willpower. Um, 
I think if this was a rank three, it might be even closer to timing out. Um, also, I'm not running suicides. Uh, with suicides and uh, and boosts, uh, you shouldn't be timing out or anything. Uh, this one's only a rank two, so it's not too bad. Just a very simple quick and shake fight. Next up, we have a Sasquatch on Ebon Flow Intercept and uh, Redouble Determination. Um, he doesn't benefit from Bulwark, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, but I will be using Torch and I will be using the Flame on just because uh, Nova Flame isn't considered a debuff. Um, I'm pretty sure you could do this fight without the Nova Flame as well, but you just have to manage his power more. Uh, it's not my cleanest fight here. This is only a rank 5 Sasquatch, too. Um, I do get a risky, but intercept in here. Um, was able to shut down the protection, do some damage. However, he just wasn't throwing his uh, SP2 for me to do more damage while I have the uh, passive fury. It's always annoying when the uh, AI is like that. And whenever the uh, protection comes back, he will uh, most likely throw his SP2 more. Uh, this one's pretty passive, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, uh, at one point I am going to be doing zero damage just because of his um, uh, wrath charges. Yeah, when he gets more charges, he will take less and less damage. So with the protection up, um, yeah, essentially he'll be, I'll be doing about zero damage here. Um, but I am gonna get a light intercept in to shut down the protection, and it worked out this time. The AI was uh, cooperative. Uh, so yeah, right now I'm pretty much doing zero damage. Just some uh, Nova Flame going on and a little bit of a uh, power sting. Uh, get an intercept in and just after the uh, wrath triggers. Um, he is gonna be unblocked, no, unstoppable. Yeah, he's gonna be stun immune actually. Um, but yeah, the Nova Flame just kills him pretty easily. Uh, very simple torch fight. All right, moving to the boss fight here. It's a rank three apocalypse. Uh, I fought this guy many times. I never fought him on Bulwark before. I was a little bit worried, but then I just remembered um, Guillotine is also a metal champion and her D-Gen can just uh, shut down Bulwark very easily. Um, yeah, and I actually forgot to um, top her off before I boosted, uh, but it should be okay as well. Um, but yeah, very simple fight, just like all my other Apocalypse uh, fights with Guillotine, just try and push Apocalypse to SP2. I don't manage his power as well as my other fights. Um, I think I just missed the SP2 in this one. Um, I can fully dex it pretty comfortably as long as I'm not cornered. Um, and uh, Guillotine's light intercept has a very far reach, so I can uh, very comfortably light intercept uh, ap Apocalypse with Guillotine. I am um, keeping my man uh, power here pretty well, pushing him to SP2 and just baiting it out and dexing it. And then at one point, I think I just uh, missed the cycle. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to reach my SP2 before uh, I finish my combo or after I finish my full combo, but I think I could have. Uh, but I just didn't want to risk him throwing his SP1 yet yeah, right there. I, I think if I used a medium at the end, I think I could have uh, finished with the uh, SP2 and uh, throw it to push him to an SP2. But yeah, so right now I do have too much power and he's uh, it's a no power when I get to um, over when he gets to over a power power, I'm gonna get an SP3. I do throw my SP3 just to manage his power so I can push him to an SP2. Uh, but I don't usually like throwing SP3s uh, just because it kind of throws my rhythm off a little bit. Sometimes coming out of the SP3 um, 
I don't know, you have to make sure you block pretty quickly or dash back pretty quickly because you're, you're a, uh, your champion is uh, is just going to be standing still. Even if you hold block um, while the SP3 animation is going on, your champion is still going to be standing still. I've caught myself dying or getting hit so many times because of an SP3 coming out of it. I just wasn't paying attention. I thought I was blocking, but yeah. So I usually don't like throwing SP3s because of that. I think... I want to say they changed it. It used to be like if you were blocking while the SP3 animation is going on, uh, you come out of the SP3 animation blocking as well, but I don't know. I could be wrong. It's been a while. But yeah, it's a very simple uh, solo with Guillotine. I wish I can pull a 6-star, but maybe next time. And yeah, we do take the win for this war. Um, they actually didn't finish this war as well. Uh, they didn't clear the whole map. Um, I'm not sure why. I actually didn't check to see which defenders they were stuck on, but... Uh, pretty good performance from us, uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully we're able to keep our performance up and get into tier one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.